All right, so lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Nice kick. Oh, nice left hand there by Conor McGregor. He's still got it. Yeah, he absolutely has it. Wow. Actually got the takedown. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strokes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. He's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. And they both stand up. And they separate. Lanza, Lanza's right hand upstairs. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by McGregor. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He is certainly fat. All right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here or not. Horn sounds for the end of round one. A lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. Are you ready? You ready? Second round underway. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went out of the corner, thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh, beautiful level change. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by McGregor. Over and over, he's landed in a big body kick. Got the single collar tie. Oh! Oh, that was a really nice takedown. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now, he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head, or he's going to get blasted. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. He got his foot on the hip, and now he's throwing up a triangle attempt. He's gonna try to move his left arm across to get pressure on the choke. He's to push the arm to the side, get his head against the mat. Now watch, as he goes to the finish, watch his chest go. And this might just be a matter of time. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him through. Last round. Great kick. Are you ready? Are you ready? Third round underway. Under three minutes to go in our third round. We have just reached the midway point of the fight. She's starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt 
Oh, he might be out. Wow! Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop it. Got to defend. But you can see him now start the game posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It starts to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Big off punch lands. Now he gets back oh, three. Strike lands there. Somehow his opponent stayed upright. I mean, he's still on his feet, but it's not up by much. Gets up again here, but hurt. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Twenty seconds now remain in the round. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his head back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the... Stu you ready? Oh, ready? Under three minutes now to go on the round. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Oh, that'll send your head sideways. Vicious uppercut. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Now he's chasing the triangle. And this could be trouble here. Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. Watch triangle. Watch triangle. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch. He goes parallel right next to the opponent. When it's time to finish, he has to go flat. And this might just be a matter of time. Oh, he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. All of that body weight on his opponent. He's got all the weight on the upper body. His feet are free to do whatever. But the arm stuck between the legs. He's now going to start dropping hammer fists. He's going to start dropping elbows. This is one of the nastiest positions in all of fighting. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. Oh, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint, DC. All right, here we go with our next round, and really shades of the Diaz brothers in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a lot of efficiency on the field. Very, very efficient. Good round in the sense that he did not do everything with absolute power, but he was touching the entire time. Then every now and again, he would set down on a strike that was really damaging the ground. Still I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Oh. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this beautiful to take down the tip lane. Now he's attacking the triangle. Triangle looks pretty tight, DC. I'm no Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, but maybe not good here. No, it looks like it's getting in deep. Watch triangle, watch triangle. to the side, get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. He goes flat, all weight to his opponent. And he's out. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Aren't right, you good ground and pound by him here? Certainly staying busy and not just busy, but effective. 
You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. All right, north-south position. Now we'll see who transitions first. He's having his way with him here. Back mount now. Final seconds of the fight. The final horn sounds. All right, so as we await the judges' scorecards, DC will look back at his handiwork. He had it all going from a striking standpoint tonight. Man, he did a great job. It was very entertaining to watch someone be in such a great state of flow, a great flow state in regards to the stand-up. He said that tonight we would be very impressed with his performance, and I am thoroughly impressed. The official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest. 49-46, 48-47, and 49-46. For the winner, by unanimous decision, the notorious Hunter McGregor! So there he is, the celebration is on. He tried to leave the judges out of it tonight. Was...